Hi, Hayden here at Alarm System Store. Today we're going to be going over the Lynx L3000 user codes. There are eight total codes that can be entered on the system and five different types of codes and I will show you how to program each one of them. So this first code is called the installer code or user01. This is the code that allows you to enter programming on your Lynx L3000 system. The default is 4112, but we do recommend you change it, but make sure you write it down so you don't forget. Okay, so for the installer code, what we're going to do to change it is uh, enter programming. So we're going to use the default installer code, which is 4112, and then 800. Enters your programming mode. And then once that comes up, you're going to hit star 20 to go to where you change the installer code. And we're just going to make it 2114, just do it backwards and make it easy. So 2114, get those three beeps, and you're good to go. Now, it went to the next section, so what we're going to do is hit star 99 to back out of programming. And we can double check that by using the new installer code and going back into programming. And you can see it's good. So we'll back out of that. So this second code is called the master code or user 02. This is the one that is going to allow you to control your entire system and also help program the rest of the user codes that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, there's actually two ways to change the master code on the L3000. Um, the first way is by using the current master code and the second way is to use the installer code. So first we're going to use the current master code, which the default is 1234, and then we're going to hit the 8 for code, and then type in user 02, and then we're going to enter the new master code twice. So we're just going to do it backwards like we did the installer code. So first, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 8, user 02, and then 4, 3, 2, 1, twice. And the second way to change a master code is by using the installer code. And it's going to be the same process. We're just going to start with the installer code instead of the, the current master code. And what we're going to do is just change it back to 1234. So we're going to use the new installer code, 2114, 8 for code, 02, and then 1234. Now this way, it only beeps once. And I only had to enter the code one time, but you can always double check your work by using that code. Disarmed. Ready to arm. And making sure it disarms the system. So for users 03 through 06, these are user codes that you can give to family or friends that will allow them to arm and disarm the system, but not adjust any of the settings on your Lynx L3000. User codes are users 03 through 06, and the process is going to be the same as the master code. And we're going to use the master code, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 for code, user 03, and we're just going to make it threes. Make it simple. And like before, always double check your work by attempting disarm. to disarm the system. Ready to arm. So that one's good to go. And we, we can go ahead and do... Uh, user 06 also, just to show you. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 for code, user 06, and then 6666. Six, six, six. Get that one beep, and then test it. Disarmed. Ready to arm. And that one works as well. So user code 07 is also called a babysitter code. This code can be used to disarm a system, but only when it was first armed by that code. This is for expected guests or babysitters who you want to allow into your house, but only whenever you know they're going to be there. Now we're going to do the babysitter code, user 07, and we're going to do it the same process as the master and the users. And it's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 8, and then user 07, and then we're going to do 7s. And one way to test this and see how the babysitter code works, um, we're going to arm the system using the master code first. Armed. Stay. Exit now. And then if you attempt to disarm it using the babysitter code, it won't work. So if we go back. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Disarm it. And if we arm it using the babysitter code. And then 
use that same code to disarm, it will disarm. Disarmed. Ready to arm. So user code 08 is also called a duress code. This code can be used to send a silent alarm to emergency services. Keep in mind that you do need central station monitoring for it to work. For the duress code, it's going to be the same way as the last ones. Um, and remember, you have to have central station monitoring for it to send this signal out. Otherwise, it's just going to be a regular user code. Um, it's not going to be able to send the signal anywhere. So we're going to make this something simple, and that's what you want to do if you're going to use a duress code also. You want it to be something simple that everybody that's going to be using your system can remember. So we're going to do eights, and that's fairly simple. Um, so what we're going to do, one, two, three, four, and then eight for code, user zero eight, and then a bunch of eights. And you can test it. Make sure it works. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Now, if you had a communicator and you had central station monitoring, whenever you use that code, it's going to send a signal to emergency services to let them know that there is an emergency. Um, it shows up on here as a regular code so that let's say you're being forced to disarm your system, the person forcing you won't know that you're sending out a signal. And that's how easy it is to change user codes on your Lynx L3000 system. If you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, leave us a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our content so that you can catch up on the latest videos that we put out. If you have any suggestions for videos, by all means, leave us a comment down below and we'll get to it as soon as we can. This is Hayden from AlarmSystemStore.com.